Starting off at number 18, probably not a big surprise to you guys, the worst spell in the game is the Mirror. The reason why is you have to spend one more Elixir to play the same card, and even though it's one level higher, it doesn't really help you out at all in most situations. It's also just a very situational card, it makes your cycle awkward, and it has no synergy in basically any deck in the game. The second worst spell in the game is the clone. The biggest problem with the clone is it is not versatile at all. You have to play it with very specific cards, such as the Lava Hound or the Giant Skeleton, for example. And even if you find good cards or a good deck to pair it in, there's just so many things that counter it easily, like the Tornado, the Poison, and Arrows, for example, which are so prevalent in the meta, completely wipe out any clone push you can think of. Next up, we have the Rocket. Ever since they nerfed the amount of damage it deals to towers, it has been really difficult to Rocket Cycle since then, making the spell a lot worse. Some of the biggest flaws of the card is it's very expensive. It's actually tied for the most expensive spell in the game, making it really challenging to use, especially in single elixir. And it also has a really small radius, so oftentimes it just has a difficult time getting value. So that's why you oftentimes only see this card inside a log bait decks. At number 15, we have the Freeze. Now, don't get me wrong, the Freeze is insane when combined with the Graveyard or Lumber Loon. People know those two decks go very well with Freeze, but the reason why it's bad compared to most other spells is because it's kind of situational and when you use the freeze on troops, because it deals such little damage, you need to make sure you have things with the freeze on defense to make sure you're taking out those units that you froze, or even when you're using it on offense, because otherwise when the freeze expires, your opponent is going to have a good opportunity for a counter push because the freeze dealt pretty much no damage to it. Next is the Goblin Barrel. Of course, in some matchups, it can be kind of annoying if your opponent doesn't have a good response to it, but in this meta, Log Bait and just Goblin Barrel in general, not that great because majority of people are running a good response to it, whether it's the Log, Barbarian Barrel, Arrows, and even if they don't have any of those spells, things like Bowler and Skeleton Army are just a very consistent counter to it, especially ever since it got that first attack nerf. The Goblins don't hit the tower as fast as they used to. At number 13, we have the Zap. Of course, you can use it if you want in some beatdown decks such as Lava Hound and Giant, but in general, there's just a lot of spells that have replaced the Zap, like Snowball and Arrows that are just consistently getting way more value. The stun can be nice sometimes against the Inferno Tower or Inferno Dragon, but just in general, in a lot of matchups, especially when you're playing against things like Goblins, you would much rather have another spell that deals a bit more damage. Next up, we have the Lightning. Now, this is a better stun spell than the Zap, in my opinion, because it deals a lot more damage, so it's very good at taking out things like the Musketeer, the Archer Queen, for example, and because it has a very large radius, you can oftentimes hit the Tower, too, along with those things, while also resetting buildings like the Inferno Tower, allowing you to break through that, killing things almost instantly like the Tesla. The main flaw of it, though, is it's really bad against Swarmy cards, but overall, definitely more valuable in most matchups compared to the Zap. At number 11, we have the Rage. Ever since they gave it that rework where it has a smaller radius, but it deals damage and is able to kill things like bats and skeletons, it has been way more consistent of a spell. You see it in a lot of different decks such as Sparky, Elixir Golem, Recruits, just tons of toxic decks in general, and it changes so many interactions and just makes things obnoxious for your opponent to deal with. Next up, we have the Snowball. The Snowball has a few different ways of getting some good value. You're often going to see this card inside of Giant Graveyard with the Balloon and with Hog. One of the biggest uses is the pushback. So pushing things away from a Balloon. Say they have an air counter, you can knock it back, which allows the Balloon to end up getting an additional shot or two. Same case with the Hog Rider and then Giant Graveyard. The thing that really comes into play is not only does it push back, it also slows down allowing the graveyard to get more chip damage. At number 9, we have the Royal Delivery. This is probably one of the most average spells in the game. Don't get me wrong, defensively, this is probably one of the best spells. It is amazing at stopping large pushes, especially when there's a bunch of things clumped together. It's getting a lot of value. But the biggest problem with it is you can only play it on your side of the map. So that's really restricting where you're able to place it. 
Next up, we have the Earthquake. This is a very safe and consistent spell to use, especially when paired with the Hog Rider and the Royal Hogs, but you can also use it with other things such as Royal Giant, for example, a very effective way of breaking through buildings such as the Mortar, Tesla, Bomb Tower, Cannon, and it's pretty much the reason why Elixir Collector gets kept in check because it's such an amazing counter to that as well. At number seven, we got the Barbarian Barrel. Now this card is incredibly versatile and pretty much pairs well in any beatdown and control deck in the game, whether it's Golem, Electro Giant, Graveyard, RG, tons of different decks you can use it in, and also defensively it can be used because you have that Barbarian helping out, attacking whatever you're playing it on, but then you can use it on offense too, pairing it with the Graveyard push, so it's just a very consistent spell. At number six, we got the Fireball, so you're getting that pushback like the Snowball has, but it deals significantly more damage, so it's going to be way more valuable against a lot of units like the Musketeer, Witch, for example, and against buildings. It's also a pretty versatile versatile spell because you can run it in cycle decks like Expo and Hog, but you can also run it in heavier decks like Royal Giant and Lava Hound, and just having that direct damage is very nice sometimes. Getting into our top five now, we have the Arrows. They're versatile enough as a spell, and they're just very valuable and consistent. Because of their large radius, you can use them many times throughout the match, hitting multiple things. They're especially good against baity cards, but just all around, they're solid because of that large radius. They're good against the Evolutions too, the regular form especially, the regular Archers, the regular Firecracker, which a lot of people are using, and then the Evolve Bomber, they actually kill, and it's one of the only counters to the Evolve Bomber, which is currently one of the best evolutions in the game. The Tornado for the longest time now has been one of the best spells in the game for all the uses it has, whether it's to get yourself a King Tower activation, or pull units away from your push, or even pull things into your push. If you're using the Electro Giant, for example, the Tornado just gets so much value. On top of all its uses, because it has such a large radius, and it also deals a tiny bit of chip damage, it's no wonder why it is such a good spell. At number three, we have the Graveyard. Not only is it one of the best spells in the game, it's also one of the best win conditions in the game because there's pretty much almost no way to counter it consistently. Even the poison doesn't always fully counter it, and there's also that randomness aspect of it because you don't know where the skeletons are going to spawn, making it really unpredictable. At number two, I got the Poison. The reason why I think it's a little better than the Fireball is because of the slowdown effect. When units walk into the Poison, it slows them down, which can be pretty useful sometimes. It also deals a bit more damage than the Fireball, so it's able to kill things like the Musketeer, the Little Prince, and the Electro Wizard, for example. It also has great synergy with the Miner and the Graveyard, which are really broken combinations. And at number one, maybe not a big surprise to a lot of you, we have the log. So let's start with versatility. You can use this thing in every single cycle deck you can think of. I'm not even going to name them all because it is just so many. It doesn't matter how many nerfs this card gets. It always stands the test of time and just remains to be the best spell no matter the meta. I think one of the biggest reasons that is, is it's just so consistent. You can play it so many times throughout the match and it just gets so much chip damage for only two elixir if you compare it to the zap and the snowball for example it deals way more damage to both troops and towers compared to those spells so what do you guys think about my list be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed